All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahawashai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. And man, oh man, all right, today is June 30th, uh, the biggest gayest pride day, the parade going on in New York. And uh, this is ABC News, New York. Uh, when does the NYC Pride March start? World's biggest LGBTQ Pride Parade set to begin NBC, New York. All right. And um, this is all right out madness, man. This is madness. And um, this is why the Lord, you know, he called this place spiritually Sodom and Egypt, you know, which is North America, which is also called Babylon the Great, the mother of Horlicks. And um, this is um, uh, this is partial the reason why the Most High is going to cleanse this place by the way of fire. And the people that are here, all right, you're going to be used as fuel to fuel that fire. You know, this is straight out madness, man. They took in the rainbow colors as it was a covenant, all right, which was the Lord gave us as a covenant that he would never flood the earth. And now they're using it today as a symbol to represent un un all unlawful sex, all unlawful sex, fornication, all right? And this is wickedness, man, you know, and all these people out there to uh, support this and that, but... You know, on the flip side, the same people that's here is the same people that the most high is going to destroy. Straight up, man. And um, read the scripture here. This is Romans 1 and 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools because most of these people that go and participate in this event and uh, worship uh, this 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 demon and, and uh, parade in this LGBTQ. You know, they're going there because a lot of them marketing, you know, showing their uh, unionship, their allegiance to their support in the homosexuality because they have this thing where, you know, uh, they have, you know, they have this thing where they say that, uh, you know, homosexuals, they, you know, they, they pay for a lot of things. You know, they make they you don't want to be um, against the homosexuality community. You know, because you would get blackballed and things of that nature. So here's people showing their support. Some people coming out of the closet. You know, I don't know what celebrity is there, but I'm pretty sure it probably will be. Um, You know, so let me get back to the scripture. This is It says Romans 1 and 22, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools. You thought you was wise and uh, taking that, you know, taking the rainbow colors and making it a a, a banner. You know, for homosexuality, you know, that that's not wise at all. All right. It says professing themselves to be wise. They became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men and to birds and to four footed beasts and creepy things. All right. So they, you know, they look to take the most high. And turn them into something uncorruptible. Excuse me. Turn them into something corruptible. As man is. Alright. So it says verse 24. Wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness. Through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So the most high gave them over to be what? Reprobates. He gave them over to the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies. You see, it says, verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. I'm All right. So, yeah, you know, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who said it was OK uh, to be a homosexual? The government. Well, the government is not God. The government is not the most high who created the world. The government is not the Messiah. In which he come to save the Israelites. All right. And have full power over this earth and over every creature in it. Okay. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. And worship and serve the creature. 
more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Verse 26, for this cause, the most high gave them up unto a vow affection. That is a nasty thing, man. It says, for even their women did change the use that is which did change the use. Excuse me. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So all this is is against your own selves. It's against nature. It's against the order of how the world works. Man with woman, woman with man. All right. If you was born as a man, you're supposed to be a man. If you was born as a woman, you're supposed to be a woman. And when a man and woman come together, they become family. They come one twine. They create children. To, to, to basically bring forth to keep their lineage going in the earth, to keep their nation populated in the earth. But this is a, a car collision. You know, these people will love to have fun and, and, and enjoy, you know, um, lawlessness within their flesh. But don't look forward to their future. You know. If the Lord had allowed this to go on, there will be, you know, no more children being born, man. Because why? There will be men with men. There will be women with women. This, 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 that's a vow affection. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up to a vow affection. Affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman. Because what do a man need of a woman? He need her as a help. He need her as a what? And a companion. Okay? The scriptures say man shall not live alone. All right? Meaning the Most High gave man what? A woman. And that woman is to bring forth children. All right? When you get to the essence of things. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts. One toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. OK, so you're going to be rewarded with destruction. Now, is these are my words. These are the Lord's words. And this is what the Lord said. Am I coming out of my feelings? No. I am reading the scriptures, man, and I'm reading what the Lord said he will do. And um, with that being said, let's go down to Jude 1 and 7. It says, even Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. You hear that? Are set forth for an example. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers. Yeah, because that's what this is. This is filthy dreamers, man. Filthy dreamers. Gay pride. And notice the Most High said he hated, uh, he, he, he hated a man with pride. All right. Pride go up before a great fall. It says, likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil of dignities, man. All right. The Most High hates pride. He said, why is dirt and ashes proud? How can you be proud when you're nothing but flesh, you're nothing but ashes and dirt? When you die, you live and you die. How can you be proud? All right. Now, this is wickedness, man. This is wickedness, man. But this place, what you call America, has to wax worse. These things are going to even get worse. All right. It's even going to get worse, man. All right. So, you know, with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.
Bahashum Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.